Hey guys, what's up? You're probably here because you're struggling with vibrato, then that's okay. I struggle with many other things, but not vibrato. So it's a good thing that you are here because you're gonna learn how to become the best vibrato master. I realized that I made a video a few years ago about how to do vibrato, but some of that wasn't very clear. I think I only went through one method. So today we're gonna go through a lot more in intricate detail about how to vibrate. Let's start without the instrument, just your hands. Now, most people have really stiff wrists. So imagine you're bouncing a ball. Actually, this is a great exercise for those of you who already know how to do vibrato because this is a great warm up. So you're bouncing a ball, and then when you have that motion, like a basketball going, yeah, you see that motion? Yeah. And then what you wanna do is then switch it up. So now your face becomes the ground. You're hitting your face with imaginary balls. <laughs> this is becoming a really weird video. And you can vary up the speed and intensity. This is what will get you going in terms of getting that motion of vibrato. So see how I can like do it with my right hand as well? It means I have loose wrists. That's what you want. Now, once you have that motion going, you can go to step two. Now this is where you can use your instrument, but no bow, no bow yet. So I don't have a name for it yet, but I picked up a bit of toilet paper earlier and I'm applying it here, I folded it up. Down here, you could be up at the neck with the shoulder of the instrument. In my other video, I explain how the instrument is a kind of like a training wheel for a bicycle. You can actually get some great wrist vibrato motion in. But for now, we're just going to pry it here, not against the shoulder, but just here in like around first, second position. You, you could even use all four fingers actually, for that matter. You could just have all four fingers, exactly what we did earlier with the basketball against the face, but like here. Like if, if we were to play this, it would be like wow, wow, wow. This is still where you're giving yourself a little bit of extra room to maneuver. We're slowly closing in though. Yeah, do that. You can even have three fingers down, four fingers down. Now, the next step is to only use one finger. All right, so let's say I choose the second finger. Now I do that. Okay, cool. And you can do it in higher positions. You can do it in lower positions. Yeah, you're just cleaning your strings. This is the string. We have a name, the string cleaning method. We're down here, second finger, first finger can be tricky sometimes. When you're feeling pretty comfortable, you've done that for good, I would say, you know, five minutes, and you, you like do that every day. You've loosened up, like I think most of your joints in the fingers and the wrists, you're ready for the next step. Step three is when you can get rid of the paper. Instead of letting it slide back and forth across the string, you gently, gently just pinch the top of the string. Don't, don't like force it down, just like, gently place them, your, your fingers, and then do the same rotation, like the same back and forth. You're getting that same motion. And then, you know, try the different fingers, try up here against the shoulder of the instrument, the training wheel method. That feels really good, right? For the fourth finger, I wouldn't even worry too much that it's sliding, let, let it slide. That'll come in handy later. Now that you've become very acquainted to this rotation style, we'll begin to, again, narrow in again on, if I were to play this, it would probably, probably sound pretty bad. It'd be like, yeah, that like right that, right? And then we're gonna narrow it a little further. We're going to do another exercise. Before we get to that, I need you to know that you have to promise me to practice every day, okay, after watching this video. And the best place to practice is on Tonic. Tonic is an app that I've been working on over the past two years. It gets you together with many other people of all levels from around the world. Uh, so you can practice together, inspire each other, motivate each other. And best of all, you can ask feedback questions to others. There are groups, there are different events like practice challenges that you can join. And best part, it's all free. So definitely give Tonic a try. I use it all the time when I practice. So I hope to catch you in your practice room. All right, now you're ready for the fourth and final exercise. I think it's the Rivarde uh, technique. Basically, once you have all the previous three steps, you're ready for this one. You can start grabbing your bow now and playing. I usually like to start in third position because you can rest your hand, the palm of the hand against the shoulder. And then you can do this. You can just slowly, remember that you had this like kind of technique before, slowly like start to apply a bit more pressure, but not too, too much, be gentle. You can even support your third finger with your second finger, just like what we did before. And notice how you hear how the note changes, right? It goes, da, that half step. All right, let's be intentional about that. Now we go. Right, and that is the technique that we want to apply. So you can do that in first position. The best kind of vibrato, I think, is not about like going like above and below the note. It's actually just going to the note and then below it. So that, that's intonation, right? So if you're if you're thinking about, you know,
And then you want to be not too tight. You don't want to place your fingers too tightly on the fingerboard because you want to be able to slide through the vibrato as well, right? That's a secret technique that my teacher used to tell me. Don't ever press too hard on the fingerboard. Again, back to this technique, you want to do this. And then you can use a metronome. Da, 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 like click, 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 click. And then you can slowly like adjust the speed of the metronome. Click, click, click. You can even do triplets. Like that, and then you slowly get it faster. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six. So it's very rhythmical, right? That's the Rivardi technique. You can use that to vibrate with intention so that you have complete control of your vibrato. And that's it. That's how you vibrate. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see my other videos where I teach you, I don't know, how to rosin, how to change your strings, go check out these videos. And I hope to see you in your practice room on tonic. See ya. Bye.